In this tutorial, we're creating a grouped product in WooCommerce, and this is what it looks like. We have a nice image, we have a description and pricing just like every other WooCommerce product page. The big difference with the group products is we have multiple different products here, and we can set the quantities of each and sell them, or sorry, buy them as a customer and sell them as a business, just like this. So they picked four blue, five red, six green, click on add to cart, and those will all be added to the cart as single line items, and that is how a group product works. It's basically a single product bundled together so your customers can more easily and more conveniently buy stuff on your store. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to create a group product just like this in WooCommerce. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below the video. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass in WP Learning Lab. We will help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And now let's get started. To create a working grouped product in WooCommerce, we first have to have a bunch of single products to add into the group. So let's make some single products first. Let's go to products on the left here and then add new. And this first single product is gonna be red macaroons. The description will be my usual macaroon description. I'll paste the same one in for the short product description down below. And as far as the product data settings go down here, we choose simple product and just add a price. We don't have to do anything else. We can add inventory if we want to. We can add a SKU number. Let's do that really quick. And we can manage stock. We can have a stock quantity, say we have 50 in stock, and when we're down to 10, we're gonna receive an email saying you're almost out of stock. And we can also allow back orders or not. That's when a customer comes to the page to buy this product, but there's none left. Are they allowed to order them? And you still get the order, they still pay, and you send it out when it's ready, or do you not allow that? That's what this option is right here. I usually have it as allow, but notify customer, so they can still buy it, but the customer is aware that it's not gonna arrive as fast as they think because it's on back order. You still have to bake it or make it or order it or whatever it is you have to do for your business to get that product in before you can send it out to the customer. And I'm not gonna check the sold individually box down here. And that's all we have to set in the settings area. I'm going to choose a category of macaroons. So I'm gonna set the product image here. I'm gonna choose this red one. In another tutorial that I've linked to in the card up above and the description down below, I go into detail on how to optimize these images. These are stock images that I found online, which are huge in file size and huge in dimension. And in that other tutorial, I show you how to optimize them for your WooCommerce store using just free online tools. So check that out if you want to. That link in the description should go right to the spot where I talk about this in, the, in that tutorial. If not, it's somewhere in the middle of that tutorial that I link to. Click on set product image. I'm not gonna have a product gallery because I only have one product image for the red macaroons. And then I come up here and press publish. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. Now let's go back to all products and I'm gonna just duplicate this just to create another one. And I'm gonna make this green Let's change this to green. This is our URL. And I'm gonna keep all these the same. I'm gonna change the SKU to, I guess I added a dash one. That's fine, I'll keep it as that. And then change your image to the green one. Set product image, publish that. Now let's do that one more time. Duplicate the green one. Let's make it blue and change the URL. Inventory, added a dash one one, I'm just gonna make this a dash two. This is really for just for internal use. The SKU number is just for you. If you leave it blank, that's totally fine. And the blue one. And publish, boom, done. First half of group product creation is now done. The second half is we go to add new again, and I'm gonna call this product macaroon gift set. I'm going to paste in the description, this is my clipboard over here on the right. There's our description again, paste it in down here. This is gonna be a group product. We can give it a SKU number, which allows us to stay organized internally. The linked products is where we add the actual products that go into the group. So for this, I want to add the blue macaroons, the red macaroons, and the green macaroons. And now we have the products that we want to link to it right here. Those are the only options we have to set in the product data. And now for image, let's choose this one. Looks like a gift set. 
and no gallery in this case, we only have one image of that. And let's set the category to macaroons and then hit publish. Let's take a look at our group product. This is it right here. That's all it takes to create a group product. That's how easy it is. So here it shows all the information we entered, the title, the price. This is the minimum price. We don't know what the full price would be because they haven't added a number of macaroons yet. They're five bucks each. So this price will go up to whatever they, they add to. Shows our stock in here. So there's 50 in stock. And now if I order, I can choose to order any number of these. Let's go with that. That's our gift set. Click on add to cart, click on view cart. And now we have our order right in here. And you'll notice these are added as individual line items. The group product, you're basically adding single products, but just on one page. So you could create, or we did in fact, create a separate page for each of these products. Let's just show you what I mean exactly. So we have the blue macaroon, the green macaroon, and the red macaroon. Each of these, if we look at them, is a complete product that can be ordered. But with a group product, we are adding them all into one page so people can order them more conveniently and faster. That's really the only difference between a group product and a single product. And they created the group product just to make ordering easier for people when things are ordered in conjunction or ordered together quite often. So if you were selling t-shirts, maybe half the people who order t-shirts also order a hat. So you could have a grouped product where you sell the t-shirts and the hat together as a group and they can pick how many they want. They could also just add zero hats. I could add zero red macaroons and then no red macaroons would be in the order. So if they wanted just the t-shirt, not the hat, they could just not add a hat to the order. And one more important thing, if you wanna add custom fields to this order, we can go to a different tutorial. Let's go to the rainbow macaroons and I've added custom fields to this one. I added delivery date added color selections for the top half and bottom half that might not be relevant for the group product but definitely a delivery date could be relevant since it's a gift you could even have it addressed to a certain person or gift wrapped as an option you can add these extra fields using the tutorial that i've linked to in the card above in the description down below it'll really help you customize your products and collect all the data you need to deliver the product successfully and wow your customers with your awesome products and add-ons Next up, you should check out this video right here where I show you how to create a variable product in WooCommerce and then check out this one right here where I show you the difference between group products and variable products so you can decide which one is best to use in which circumstances. Make sure to check out those two videos and make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn All, Passing WP Learning Lab. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.